This is a review of a digital clock with an extra large display. In the box you get the mains adapter, a remote control and a small instruction manual. I'll show you what it's like. The screen is matte so you've got an anti-glare finish there, there's no reflection of the camera for example so that's useful. I'll show you the reverse. Bottom right there's a compartment for three AAA batteries, that's to maintain everything in the event of a power cut. At the top you've got two pre-drilled holes, there is also a stand here if you want to put it on a table, and at the bottom left there's three buttons to control it with if you don't want to use the remote control. To give you an idea of the size, that's an A4 sheet of paper, and here's a banknote. That there is the power input at the bottom left, so what I'll do is I'll turn it on. There's a short delay before the screen comes on. It's very red, very vibrant, even more so than it is in this video. It displays the time for six seconds. There's the date. It displays that for two seconds, 1st of January. Back to the time for six seconds, and then the temperature for two seconds. If you don't want those things displayed in that order or at all, you can change it. I'll show you in just a moment. I've set the time and the date, 3.03pm, and there's the date. The red circle at the top left shows that it's 3.03pm rather than 3.03am, and what I can do is I can change that to a 24-hour clock rather than a 12-hour clock, and I'll show you that now. So what I do is I'll get the remote control, press the 12-24 stroke button, comes up at 12 hours, press the up button on the remote, and just leaving everything now and it'll just reset. There we are, now on 24 hour clock. The default is time for six seconds, date for two seconds, back to the time for another six seconds, and then in just a moment you'll see the temperature come up for two seconds before it repeats itself. If you don't want that, bottom left of the remote control is the display mode button. Hold it down for two seconds and up pops this. That's six seconds for the time. So now if I press the up button, I can change that to 15 seconds for the time. Press it again, 30 seconds for the time. There's different modes as well, H for hours, i.e. time only, D for date, i.e. the date only, 7E is actually TE for temperature, i.e. temperature only, I'm not pressing any buttons on the remote control, and now as you can see it's displaying just the temperature, I don't want that. Bottom left, hold it down again for 2 seconds, up it pops the TE, so if I'm now going to set it to H for hours only, so it just displays the time. I'm now not touching anything, so it'll go into that mode. There we are, no date and no temperature. It's now 3.09pm and I'm going to show you how to set the alarm. So I press alarm 1, there's two alarms on this. And you'll notice that I've now got a red dot in the top right to show that I'm setting alarm 1. So I'm going to set this to 3.12pm. So if I now press alarm 1 again, now it's not on yet, I've just set it. So I press the top right and then up to activate it. And now you see the red dot has come on on the top right to show that the alarm one is set. Let's jump in my DeLorean. You can tell it's back to the future here and skip forward two minutes. So here we go, the alarm's about to go off when it hits 312. Now I can turn it off by pressing any of the buttons on the remote control. So there we are. Now what I'm going to do is deactivate it, so I press the top right to get into that and press the up and now you see the red, red dot at the top right has gone, so now the alarm is no longer set. I really like the vibrancy of the display and also the non-reflective front, the finish. The only real restriction is that it needs a mains cable to power it from, so that's going to limit uh, where you can put it. It means if you stick it on the wall, you will have a cable running down to the power supply. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this helpful.